So communism um, does not allow for unions or collective bargaining. Um, it does not allow for any immigration. It does not allow for family, love, philosophy, culture, any cultural differences. Um, it is basically you wake up, you work a job in a factory, you receive no money, and then you go to the common storehouses and get enough grain or whatever that you need, and then you go home. You're not allowed to be married. You're not allowed to have kids. If you procreate, you're not allowed to raise your children. Um, and you are not allowed to um, have any religion nor read any philosophical books. You are a cog in a machine. Um, and everything human about you, um, you could be killed for. Um, I mean, Lenin, Lenin even said it, um, those who believe in ideas of good, evil, love, compassion, loyalty, um, brotherly love, must be executed. Stalin, um, his excuse for not uh, for the Ukrainian famine, remember it was Lysenko's screw up, but that famine could have been relieved um, and 12 million didn't need to die, you know, maybe, you know, 500,000 or a million, maybe even 2 million, 12 million. The reason he let it go on so long is, and this is a quote from him, to break their belief in God. Fascism is a response to communism. That's all it is. Uh, what happens is is that communism basically is mercantilism. Okay, initially we you had mercantilism, right? Which was a group of nobles that had monopoly. Right? You can only buy from them, trade with them. Then comes along the United States, um, and you had uh, freedom, and that also meant the free market. So you could attend any church you wanted. You didn't even have to attend a church. Um, you could believe the craziest things, could say the craziest things in the world. Um, so long as they weren't treasonous um, nor threatening. And you could choose to um, do business with whoever you wanted. Uh, you didn't have to just go to one guy. That's freedom, right? <coughs> and there were some taxes, obviously. Pay for things like the military, the roads, the police, I don't think were a thing yet, but judges politicians, um, the Navy. Communism, Marx had lived long enough to see Paris Commune, and he saw it as a failure because the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. Um, people say that about capitalism. No, that's only under communism. And mercantilism, mercantilism has not existed. It hasn't existed for like 250 years. Only under communism do the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. Capitalism, uh, this talk about class warfare um, is not understood by Americans. In England and Germany, they have class, they have classes kind of like the caste system in India. You can be a poor noble person or you could be a rich peasant, yet the 
for a noble person is still higher class than the very rich peasant. We have nothing like that in the United States. We have a completely classless society. Um, look at all the singers and actors, right? What class do they belong to? They're just rich. That's their only, you know, I mean, Little Kim, um, Nicki Minaj, Kanye West, I mean, these people, they, they weren't born into a certain class. They got rich because of their own talent. Or you could work hard and, you know, start a couple of businesses like a certain illegal Mexican that I know who worked very hard and actually um, a shit ton of money <laughs> and um, owned a few houses, although they're in other people's names. Uh, so it, it really, I mean, going after the 1%, you do know that there's always going to be a 1%, right? I mean, that's that's the stupidest thing. But uh, I'm going to go through the Communist Manifesto and uh, show you just how ludicrous it is. And if anybody tries to say that communism is good or that it has any good ideas, the only thing you need to do is read it to them. Now we are we already started with the uh, epilogue. Part one. Bourgeoisie and the Proletarians. The history of all hitherto existing society is a history of class struggles. Wrong. Uh, it's usually a struggle of um, tribes, nations, clans. Freeman and slave, patrician, plebeian, lord and serf, guildmaster and journeyman, in a word, oppressor and oppressed. Um, stood in constant opposition to one another, carried on uninterrupted, now hidden, now open fight, a fight that each time ended either in revolutionary constitution of society at large or common ruin of the contending classes. Now, this is absolute bullshit because uh, we don't have serfs anymore. We don't have slaves anymore. Um, we don't have plebeians or patricians or lords or guild masters. Um, and the only journeymen that we have are in unions. And again, under evil capitalism, um, it is uh, voluntary, 100% voluntary. In fact, we have a social system where you can actually just go on welfare. You don't even need to fuck more. You're not going to be a millionaire, but you're not going to starve to death. Uh, so no, that ended with capitalism. In fact, uh, between the year 2000 and the year 2012, 80% of all the people below the poverty line on the planet Earth are now above the poverty line, are no longer in dire poverty. And that had to do with uh, things like Hong Kong, China, decommunizing and, you know, massive trade. In fact, everybody's getting richer and technology's moving at a faster and faster Taste. Um, by bourgeoisie, it is meant the class of the modern capitalist, owners of the means of social production and the employers of wage labor. By proletariat, the class of modern wage labor who, having no means of production of their own, are reduced to selling their labor power in order to live. Um, yeah, so the bourgeoisie is the small business owner. Or the man who employs you. And the proletarian is 
a man who works for uh, hourly wage. Why is this evil? How is that man being oppressed? Not to mention uh, the bourgeoisie is um, helping the economy. Bourgeoisie is a small business owner. He is an employer. How is he oppressing somebody? Now, Angles, who ran sweatshops, was oppressing people. Um, that is all written history. In 1847, the prehistory of society and social organization. Do you really need me to read Marx's bullshit? I'm going to stop right here. I'll continue on.